So, what I am going to do today, okay, I am to take, I am going to take you through the Eka Shiksha initiative, I will spend about 1 hour on it. Then because all the projects which I am handling now for the summer interns are related with this except one project for which the people have not met me, not, nobody is assigned as yet. So, nobody is assigned, I will not do it. So, that is not related to Eka Shiksha anyway. Okay. So, I will take you through that. Feel free to ask questions. Okay. So, let us now go to the Eka Shiksha initiative. This is what I believe in. One nation should have one education. I do not believe in uh, hundreds of school boards okay, running their own 10 standard, running their own 12 standard, all of different levels and then they, we have court cases whether SSC board 90 percent is equivalent to CBSC board 89 percent because there are no admissions. Whether 5 marks should be given extra or 5 marks should be given less. I do not see any reason why a CBSC board education should be different from a state board education. Yes, obviously, history, geography can be different for every state. Biology is the same. All science is the same. Okay. An apple falls in Maharashtra, the same as in CBC school. All Newton's laws are valid. There is no difference. There is no difference in chemistry. 2 plus 2 is always 4 everywhere. So, I see no logical reason why education in technical education in schools should be different. So, that is what I think should happen. I know why they are different because people make a lot of money okay, in printing school books. It is a huge industry in every state and the industry will die. Okay. If you can say it simple, that is a simple logic, there is nothing. Anybody can say I do not see the students going through state boards are less, edu are less intelligent, so they cannot cope with the CBSE subject, I do not believe it. Very simple money power, that is it. Okay. I do not see any reason why state textbooks and it will be true for every state board. Every 3 or 4 years, they will come with a new edition. Why? Because if they do not come, okay, only the second hand book market will work. They have to get rid of the old book. Otherwise, how will no need public publication ever make money? That, that is what they do, I know that, I know they do that. Okay. So, one nation, one education, that is number one. Okay. Single content in local language, the most important thing in our, in our, in our mind is local language. Okay. Local language is dying down, but I think that at the school level at least local language should be supported up to a certain extent. 11th and 12th you can go into English because that is what the world uses very easy to understand in your own language anyway. Okay. Right. And does not matter 70 percent of the students are learning in local languages, 70 percent of the kids that is true. Okay. Okay. Once we talk about single content, okay, another concept is that we should have interactive content. There is a organization in the world which says which is trying to promote one laptop per child. They have been there for a long time. Okay. Sometime or the other they are going to be successful. Not because a lot of money will pour into them, but because the laptop is going to become very inexpensive. Okay. Moore's law is still there. We have got a Akash tablet which is 2200 rupees. Another two years the same thing will be available for 1500. There is no other choice. The hardware cost decreases, that is known as long as you do not increase the features. Look at the PC prices now. Okay, I have been in the industry for 25 years. Okay. Whatever I was getting PCs with 64 KB is now available in a whatever multi core is available for the same price. Okay. So, that is there. So, content can be made interactive. The reason it can be made interactive is I am going to have sometime or the other instead of a textbook we are going to have a tablet. Whether it happens 2 years, 3 years, it does not matter. Okay. I do not want to stop at using the tablet as an e-reader. Okay. It has to be interactive. right? The second important concept is assess as you learn. Okay. I have read a lot of books okay, on education. 
and one of the book says, and it is very, very simple thing he says about the schooling system, this is about the US. Huh? He says all the educators know that every child is different, accepted knowledge. Okay. Some people learn physics better, some people learn maths better. The learning speed of every child is different. Some people learn by reading, some people learn by listen, listening, all that is known. So, what do we do in our education system? We pack together about 50 or 60 kids in a class, okay. irrespective of their learning speed, irrespective of their likes, irrespective of their likes and dislikes. Okay. We say this next one hour, I am going to talk about physics. Now, that is over, okay. close your books, now we will start chemistry, then we will start something else. Then you go out and play and come back, all 50, 60 of them. Do we ever try in a schooling system, I am talking about US, the book was about US, same is true here. Does anyone ever bother or can anyone ever bother to find out that I have taught say addition or factorization? How many of the class have understood factorization? No, does not matter. I have been asked to teach factorization, I will go there, teach factorization and walk off because I have to go to another class and teach something else. That is my schedule as a teacher. So, nobody bothers how much is anybody has learnt. Okay. And this is that book talking about the Harvard professor. Okay. Then what he says is we do that without knowing how much has gone into the people, students head. Okay. And what do we do? We say enough is enough at the end of one year, so now is the time, now I will find, find out. And what do we do? At the end of one year, whatever he has learnt in physics, we set a test paper. Okay. And then, and that was the most caustic comment. And he says our school system pats itself on its back if the student has understood 35 percent. This is the first time I saw 35 percent, and that is true by the way. 35 percent you used to pass people. What does that mean? He has understood 35 percent of physics. Is not that true? Why should he go to the next class? If his base is not clear, if he has not understood factorization, that is the optional topic. Next year, when he goes to LCM and GCF, it is going to be an optional topic because he cannot factorize. Now, can do LCM and GCF. So, the whole our whole edifice is built on 35 percent success, and that is not correct. Okay. So, this is very important. Assess as you learn. And this is what whatever I am doing is something in similar to what he is saying. He is saying teach, teach a concept, access it immediately. If you have not learned, teach it in a different way. I am not doing it because we do not have the bandwidth. Okay. But his model is teach a concept, access it. If you have not learned, teach it in a different way. Once he knows, go, go forward. So, he is saying it is concept by concept. Why should there be a regimentation? All 50 are studying in first standard. So, that is that as as you learn, okay. it has to be enjoyable, okay. increase understanding through experiments. Once I have got a tablet, okay, I can run virtual experiments. Okay. A simple example could be if I am teaching friction using an inclined plane, okay. there is a mu and depending on a mu, g sin theta is equal to mu. Okay. That is the formula, right? Now the student can play around with the inclined plane, find out at what it does. He can change mu, find out at what angle it does, and he can experiment and really see that mu sin theta is equal to g is the inclined plane formula. I don't have to derive it. He can experiment with it, independent of mass. I know that he knows that. Can he see it? Right. So that is the concept. Experiments. Again, are we there yet? No. Okay. I will tell you where we are. Trackable okay. goes along with assess as you learn. Okay. Once I have got a tablet, I can track the progress of whoever is using the tablet. Okay. This, this has he solved a, this particular concept. I can come back and review it after one month, that is a different matter. Okay. But I will know without having to give a test how far the students has progressed, how much he has handled. Okay. That is one.
Secondly, this is something which can be implemented. Each child learning subjects at a different pace. Because once one concept is known, he can go to the next concept. In chemistry, he may not know one concept, he may be slow, it does not really matter, according to me. Anyway, we are going a little bit towards that similar thing because I think we are abolishing all tests from first to whatever standard. Okay. Part of the offshoot of right to education act. They do not want people to remain in schools because schools have to now be a factory, child joins at 6, goes at 14. Nobody can stay there because their capacity is limited. Okay. So, you cannot fail anyone. Okay. But good thing has happened okay. because of that, that is for a bad reason. So, now I am going to go with a story. I like stories. Stories bring out what people want to say. So, we are going to go to a village 2015. The reason why I have said 2015 is two years is what it will take for me to come up with some reasonable content. Okay. One has to be practical. I do not have people. By the way, I mentioned merit nation. I do not know how many people they are employing, but I am sure it is hundreds. I do not have hundred people do that. Nor crores some money and uh, air condition this thing and with educators and what that thing, things like that. I do not have. I am going to work with free labor, actually not bonded labor from you, but free labor from the world. Okay. And we will do it. I, I always do things. Okay. So, let us go back to the story. Here is a girl, there is a school at the back. Okay. And what does the girl say? And this is what really happens in life, I am sure. He says, I do not want to go to school. I never wanted to go to school myself, so I know that nobody wants to go to school. I am sure none of you wanted to go to primary school. My kids did not want to go to school, okay. junior KG or whatever. Very strange, my, my youngest son, he insisted, the only way he went to school okay, was he told my, my wife, you have to stay outside the school full day because it was just 50 right in front of the colony. So, that was the pact that she will stay there. Okay. Right enough when he goes to school, he should go home and come back and pick him up. <laughs> One day she changed her clothes. Okay. I, he spotted it. No, no, no. How, how yes, morning you are wearing this, now you are wearing that. So, luckily she could fool him. Say, no, no, no. I was waiting there and some tea dropped. So, I had to go and change and things like that. But this is what happens in life. People do not want to go to school. And still, why why kids go to school, especially government schools? Okay. You will get lunch. Okay. Then this is the state. All states are giving free lunch. All. All. I do not see any exception. Infosys is sponsoring lunch. Okay. There are vans going all over here. Charitable organizers providing lunch to municipal schools everywhere. You do not go there to learn, you go there to eat because you want to stop child labor. This is a real fact. And make friends is what I added because otherwise it will look very bad. But actually, people send them to school for they get free lunch. That is not correct, they should go there to enjoy. Okay. And why cannot they enjoy? Because there is because there are no teachers actually. Okay. Let us see. Now, since we are that is what we want to do. Okay. Not one laptop per child, but a magic slate. Okay. So, she has got something with pictures on it that is very important for a child, you do not get. Okay. So, she comes and tells her mother, okay, I got a magic slate. Okay. And what she says? Okay. I can count. Okay. The learning is quite fast because it is an interactive game. At that level, there is a counting applet already implemented. There was supposed to be a button where when I press it, it used to run, but I am not doing that right now. Okay. So, basically, once you click on that, you will get a counting applet running for a primary. Okay. And then you can always bring back and show how show your parent how you can do that. Okay, a few months later, okay, 
the same girl says, now I learnt English. Okay. Again, there was supposed to be an applet which showed how to write alphabets. This is very easy. Okay. The learning for a child. Now, the only question in my mind is, okay, only question and you, you are free to ask questions. Huh? I am struggling with it. Will a 4 year old or 5 year old be able to handle a tablet? I am not sure. I am not sure, but I believe they can. Okay. Okay. If Ambani school is putting PCs in their school for primary level for teaching coloring okay, and playing games, coral draw, whatever, okay, I do not see why other people cannot do it. Okay. It is possible, but let us not bother about that. It is possible according to me. I do not even have money to give the tablets. Since I am dreaming, it is fine, I can dream, not an issue. Okay. So, they should show parents their success. Now, this is the sort of conversation we should have, which we do not have. Okay. Somewhere in the middle of the term, parents always want to know how, how their children are doing and teacher have no clue. They only say, okay, nahi, thik baitti hai, gadbad nahi karti hai. That is the only information that the teacher has, whether student is doing gadbad or is sitting, sitting quietly. Because and that is one more problem with our education system. I was not fortunately brought up that way because I refused to go to school first three years. Okay. Absolutely refused. Schools do not allow children to question and that is a problem you will face throughout your life if ever you work with foreigners. This is what I used to tell trainees who joined TCS. Okay. It was you should always ask questions and Indians are never ask questions. Because there are 50 people, teacher, if you raise a hand and check, wait, Mulane, mujhe padana hai. So, beech beech mein kyun bolte? If 50 people ask questions, he will not be able to proceed. Okay. It is the teacher's side of it also, okay. but we are not encouraged. Okay. Generally, our whole culture is a patriarchal society, one person making all the decisions, not now, but generally. So, what happens? What the father says is the correct thing. You cannot question your father generally. I can, I could, but that is a different matter. That is why I am like this. Okay. Yeah, I do not believe in any rules anyway. Okay. So, but asking questions is very important and I have keep telling them to every trainee, whenever you join any organization in IT especially, please ask questions as many questions as you want in the first one month. Because the same question, if you ask after three months, then you are stupid. When you join, you are expected to know nothing. So, you can ask Ramachi Sita Kone, but you cannot ask who is Sita after three months of studying Ramayana. Okay. Earlier, you can ask anything okay, and people will tell you. So, learn the art of asking right questions at the right time. Okay. It is very important in profession. Okay. So, what the teacher can say? This kind of thing. Okay. A teacher will have an access because the tablet will be there. From the tablet, you can make out whether her maths is good, but English is not good. So, the teacher can ask her other things, which you normally do as a teacher. If you are doing one on one counseling, okay, that you are weak in this subject, so study more. We do not have the one on one counseling concept in our education. Okay. So, she can give an additional book to read. Basically, what I wanted to say is they can study different subjects at a different pace, okay, because I am removing the textbook, I am keeping the textbook, but I am removing the teacher, I am doing going into a sort of a self study mode. Okay. You can go into self-study mode, that is the best mode. Again, question in my mind, can all children go into self-study mode? I think they can. Okay. I, mean, I have only two kids, but I have read quite a lot about it and there is a definite 100 percent 
um, you know agreement among all educators okay is that the more you load a child the more brilliant he becomes okay everybody says that don't don't use your judgment of what the child can absorb pour as much knowledge into him as possible maybe he will not understand 100% but still he will surprise you by understanding more than what you think he will understand child always keep learning anyway it is a, it is known fact that we use only 10% of our memory how much percent of our brain we use in analytics i have no idea okay especially in us if you read books about kids small kids okay what they say is that you should make sure that the kids room has got a lot of color and a lot of movement why that sort of thing is not there in india is is we are too crowded a country our kids don't have a special room while in the us it's a crib a special room and all us walls are white so if you keep a small child 3 months and they are talking not about big children early development 0 to 1 they are saying if you keep you keep him in a white room his eyes will not develop there is no incentive for him to focus and if he doesn't focus he doesn't use his brain the eye image the brain has to do and this is all this is known so they are saying put him in a my elder son was in the us and i did put wrapping paper whatever the gift paper and put it on the ceiling okay because over here that is not a problem that's why indian kids are smarter because we put them in a dhopara and we put some stupid thing on the top which keeps rotating because they should not cry but that is fine that stimulates their brain but the basic thing what i wanted to tell you is that all kids brain has to be stimulated to the maximum extent we are not putting them in a classroom and teaching them one thing okay, let them learn as much as they can through different things so i am don't want to even to limit any subject to i'll ask him five questions if he answers five of them it's all right if he wants solve ten let him solve ten no problem okay now what happens next okay again the same thing after 6 months okay the teacher says english is good and english is not going to improve the reason why i am stressing on english is this is not going to be a panacea for english okay well, first of all i don't even know whether teacher knows in rural schools and of course it is not at a primary level okay but a foreign language is something different technology doesn't make you understand that but technology can help you understand maths can may help you understand science and of course biology i am not called biology but i don't know anything about different tools for different subjects that should be possible this is what i expect to happen and this is the most important thing okay which is not happening today we are taking enough care to try and educate everybody it's not necessary if i got something which is self learning okay mother can learn why not everybody wants to learn english i can tell you farmers are quite intelligent whenever i used to travel in around maharashtra everywhere for my chess tournament i used to travel second class okay i found people talking very intelligently about politics those days much more than in the cities okay because what they never had tv what they do they do they can't even read but they will know everything because every day to understand the world there'll be somebody who will read the paper and explain it to them they will spend time which we don't do in cities they're quite intelligent they can they can think and basically they want to improve i don't see any problem in the computer going rural they will pick it up like fish to water nothing great how they learn the only problem is it's in english that is the problem why is the why is the mobile penetration in india increased so much very time easy to use okay intuitive okay i don't have to learn too much english okay english is a bottleneck okay and it has to spread only through something like this not any other way english is a bottleneck to technology absorption China is going that reverse way. 
China is making sure that content is available in Mandarin. Okay, they are fighting with Google and throwing it out. They have got Alibaba.com against Amazon. Okay, so all this is they are doing because their people do not understand English. Okay, not sufficient number. Since we are ruled by the British, a lot of Indians understand English. So, we are much better off in that respect. What else can happen? Even old people can learn. Once you make learning enjoyable as at home, yes, it can happen. Should it happen? It is not, it's not part of my charter. Okay. But it is necessary, there is an adult literacy program in India, which runs, okay, which runs with law of effort and money being spent on it without using technology. Okay. The only reason why I am bringing in this up is, okay, technology has to be used by government in running their programs, they do not, nothing will happen. Okay, let us see. This is a wrap up of, of my story. So, what I have made her director of ISRO. Why? Because she knows physics and maths okay. and not chemistry and English. Okay. All right. So, what I thought is I will whatever I have been speaking, okay, I will wrap it up as the girl when she grows up reminiscing. Okay. So, what she will say that it has revolutionized my life. Okay. By 10th standard, I was studying 12th standard maths. It is feasible. But anyway, there can be a lopsided development where you pick up some subjects faster and you should be allowed to. Okay. There is no reason why you should learn all subjects at the same pace. Okay. And it is allowed in the western world. Okay. Our professor is an exception, but it is allowed in the western world. A lot of people who at a very young age can get doctorate in one particular subject. Now, physics concepts were very vivid, these are all the advantages I see. Okay. In each lesson was accompanied by experiments and or simulations. Okay. This is we already have because of our pre-placement about 97 applets which have been put up on the web. Now, I am going to try and put them in the CBC textbook. CBC textbook is already on the web. It is not easy because it is in PDF. And PDF2, there is no tool which gives me PDF to HTML. Okay. So, PDF to doc, doc to HTML, grunt work. Okay. But this is what we should have. I am just saying what we should have as education. Okay. Chemistry experiments in a virtual lab. I see absolutely no reason why it cannot be done. Why chemistry subject only I have to keep reading, reading, reading. Why I cannot do an acid based titration? It is covered in the school. No school has got, my school did not have a chemistry lab. Good schools in Bombay, not Ambani type, but regular middle class school. Okay. Did not have a chemistry lab. Chemistry labs schools do not have, that is why I am saying virtual chemistry lab, because it is very difficult, it is too expensive, and every day it takes long of things to learn, learn uh, because all the chemicals have to be bought. It is expensive to operate also. Education department could track the progress of all children. I think this is extremely necessary, okay. extremely necessary in India. We are talking about right to education, but where is the monitoring system? It has failed. There is no monitoring system. All education inspectors just take money and do nothing. And No, no, sorry, I am take it back. They just take government pay and get extra pay from other education. Yeah, it is there. In Maharashtra it is there, because they sacked some 10 inspectors, because they made a surprise. So, very funny, because I normally surprise cannot be done, because by the time somebody goes for inspection, everybody knows that he is coming. But some inspector managed it somehow. Okay. He went and visited 10 schools and he found children were not there. Each Maharashtra government school gets paid per child. They are enrolled children without like the Satyam scam, the employees who are working who, who are not there, clients are not there, employees are not there. Same thing is there in education, Satyam has only learned, you probably went to a government school. Teachers are not there, students are not there, teachers are getting paid, students are getting paid. Same thing Satyam, what else? 
which is happening in Maharashtra. I am sure it happens in every state. Okay. To forget about monitoring a child, a child's progress, we can't even monitor children, number of children. Okay. Only on physics and maths, which we currently do not do during graduation. Okay. I have been able to excel at my work right? and without the, the poor village girl like me would never have had a chance to show my talent and that is the only reason why I am doing Akshita. Because this is the last sentence is what I believe, absolutely believe okay? that currently a low village girl has no chance. My wife does go to an Adivasi Pada in uh, Borili National Park. And do you know that there are people in Bombay without electricity? They are in sitting in national park. You can't run electricity because they are five miles from, from anywhere. They are Adivasis. Okay. And she is now, I think, paying fees for one or two people. We cleared ten standard. Okay. Somebody got seventy percent, which according to them is a genius. Now tell me this Adivasi ca character, and now another person has. 60 percent, okay. Now, 60 percent, 70 percent. He is now gone and two people whom we are funding partially are going and studying 11th and 12th. But can they compete really against middle class people who will get tuition in the job market? Okay. I do not know. I really do not know. So, this is life, this is what happens. Okay. They need all the help they can get. And technology is one means of doing that. They are street smart. They are not children. They are not not that they are not smart. The, the family culture is not there where education is respected. It's not there. Okay. I don't know. If, if, even if one person gets a job, maybe he will make sure that some six, seven other children in the next batch, that is after thirty years, will now attempt it. Whatever he has done, it's a very very small, slow process. We are in this state after how many years of independence? More than 60. Society does not change. Society changes with the Right to Education Act. Society has changed with the Right to Information Act. And society will change with the Right to Food Act. It will change. And it is not access to education. The moment in India, everybody is so frightened of speaking up that unless you put the word right behind it, okay, nobody will help him. Okay. You say your right to education, then somebody will look at it. Yes, 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 I will give you education. My, my party is committed to giving you education. Nothing is going to happen because he does not have a right. He is still a beggar. The moment you give a right to anybody, he goes from the beggar state to person who can, if he wants. Take a danda and he cannot take a danda, but somebody else will take a danda for him. Okay. Look at right to information. Why are all the scams coming out? Because they cannot be hidden now. If you try to hide it, you go to a higher level, you get punished so that information is available. Where did Subramanian Swami get all the information? He has not bribed to get the documents, he has asked the government, give me the documents, and then given in them to the court. And the right to right to information act, right to education act has just come in. It will change society. Okay. Right to food act, and I see on TV, and sometimes I feel like uh, boiling over. People are saying the cost to the country for feeding people. Are come on here. Right to education, you can fight. I don't mind feeding. Anyway, it doesn't matter. That's the part. But right to it will revolutionize everything according to me. All right. So, now let us do a quick recap. Government education, I have been speaking that sufficient buildings. Nandan Nilekani has written a book, Imagining India. There is a chapter on education and he has given statistics. The amount of money the government has spent on education, everybody says two and a half per two and a half percent of the nation's GDP. Where has it gone? Buildings, lot of school buildings. All you are all from major towns, right? Every town has got lot of municipal school buildings okay, with no children and no teachers. 
because very easy for a babu sitting in the government office are 100 crores fine this building bana do kaam ho gaya usme hazar teacher dalo to mehnat karna padega na okay. i have to train teachers uska exam lena padega uska degree uh, teachers ke liye bed uh, exams are there education exams are there wo uh, degree course run karna padega if i really want to do something for education buildings are not sufficient but buildings have been done over okay that is we have enough buildings i don't see nobody has ever said in right to education that will run short of buildings buildings are already done in the last 60 years okay i finally put the word quality okay actually it is lack of teachers there are no teachers okay and again it is like the satyam scam I am sure on paper they are teachers, they do not come to this. Politics has gone into it. In the village schools, there are either no teachers because then nobody wants to work there, pay is less, okay. or there are teachers who are only taking pay. Okay. Forget quality, there is no teacher, no laboratory at all in government schools. Okay. Textbooks are horrible, lack quality is a misnomer zero monitoring of the schooling system there is absolutely no monitoring okay. the school inspector will only monitor whether the buildings and toilets okay and roll call teacher hai ki nahi does he ever monitor whether education happens no doesn't there is zero monitoring okay are teachers held accountable for the success of their children no you taught this subject why are he, why is he not getting marks no because there is no monitoring at all this is very disturbing. The ladies who work in my house, her kids did not go to government school anymore. Okay. They are going to a private school. Quality has gone down so far. And that other thing about local education, local language education versus English education, English padana hai. Now, the problem with that is not that they should learn in English, etcetera, etcetera. That is not the issue. The issue is whether this my uh, working woman's uh, child, even if he goes to a private school, passes 10 standard like I said with 70 percent, can he really compete in a 12 standard entrance exam with kids who are equal, but who have got enough money to pay for the coaching classes, he can't. Okay. It is a, it's a big problem. Okay. The society ka problem hai. Oh, lot of people are and, and education is really dear to everybody that I can tell you from my experience. The current situation you go and ask any poor person, he would he would strive and pay as much money as he can to get his kid educated. That is true because they see that as the only way out. Remember manual jobs are not there. Okay. The only jobs are there that are there at least in towns are your sales clerk in uh, big bazaar and other malls. Those are the jobs that are opening up, which require some knowledge of English. Okay. Job situation is terrible. Okay. Tuition coaching is a thriving industry. Okay. And in my view, future of our children is being compromised. That is certain. Slowly and steadily compromised. Okay. It is not about magic tablet, because that is not my business. Somebody will create a magic tablet. As I said, it will become available anyway. Okay. We have to leverage future technology today by preparing content. The tablet is not going to do anything. Okay. Tablet is just a tool, it does not do anything. Okay. We have to have content and we have to get common content for technical subjects whenever people are ready to use technology. It is not tomorrow. It has to become as a pilot, but I can tell you it is starting. The timing, we are probably a little bit slower, okay. but remember this thing started about one and a half years back, okay, when the right to education act was not passed. Okay. There is a island FS engineering okay, has already leased something called K class, K class Marathi, okay, leased, huh? because government schools do not have money, they cannot buy. So, now they have got this other model, we will lease to 
municipal schools in I think Sholapur in Maharashtra. Okay. They have already sold some things okay, to West Bengal schools under K class, okay. again government. So, this sector is being targeted and I mentioned mentor uh, your what, what nation here, merit nation just came up, takes lot of money and effort. People have spent it because they have seen the opportunity exactly around the same time when I was thinking of this. Okay. So, I think it will come. Now, I am very happy. If two companies have spent money on coming up with a solution, okay, not one, two and I am sure others, others were doing it, but those were limited to IIT material. Now, we are talking real school, middle school. That material is happening in India by two companies, major companies spending a lot of money and effort. I do not think we proof of concept is necessary, it will happen. Okay. Whether it will come down to the lowest level, which is what we are aiming for, okay, I am not sure. Because that K class is, is leasing now Marathi, okay. only one municipal school has taken it and that I am sure is not to this extent because in that press release which they said, but our experiment, they call it experiments, our experiments will not be available in Marathi, saying of course, our applets cannot be translated. Okay. If I speak something, Pamarva ask somebody else to speak that same thing, no, it will work. Okay. All they have done is they have dubbed, they dubbed their lecture, that is possible and called it K Marathi, but applets you cannot cheat, that is computer. But we are going to translate applets. Under previous government schools to get free access because there is no way it will happen. Okay. Common content to be available in local languages is what we want to do. Okay. Interactive and access as you learn, these are again two important things. We are on the path there, I think we are reached somewhere around 25 percent is done according to me. Okay. To be augmented with simulations and experiments and child's progress can be tracked and collated centrally, this is this I have not implemented at all. Okay. I have not implemented it at all, okay. but does the technology exist to do that? Yes, okay. so I do not have to bother. The one mistake which I have made, okay. all my applets are in, uh, I am using applet technology. Okay which is not supported currently by that stupid Android tablet. Okay. Remember I did it one and a half years back okay. and I chose applet because I said applet will always work on all machines because they are the most portable way of doing graphics. I had looked at everything else. Yes, I think <coughs> sometime or the other okay, we will take a make a massive effort to convert everything into JavaScript. One of the reasons why I said that uh, the JavaScript lesson. Did he cover interactive graphics at all in JavaScript? He did. No? I told him you should cover that because I think that is the correct way to do it. Okay. Okay. I have given up on fighting Google. Google will succeed. They have been promoting JavaScript. Okay. They have been promoting local computation okay, and cloud data. So, that will work and JavaScript is the best method of doing it, no doubt. Okay. And teacher to become mentor and guide, will it happen? I do not know. I do not, we do not even have teachers. Okay. okay. So, the first step, identify content has been done. When I started this, I was going to say, let me pick up content because the whole thing is translatable, good content translatable. So, I need to pick up free content from somewhere or write it. Because that time it was in the prototyping mode. In English are available for free download. Okay. They are available. <coughs> content is excellent, no need to write own content. This is a conclusion I came to. Not necessary. Of course, that the technology can support anything, translation of anything. Okay. No permission has been sought for translation. That is why I said I was brought up in a very, very peculiar way. I do not ask permission. Because I always do the right thing. 
very few people can say that. Huh? I can say it. I will all generally most of the time 95 percent of the time I do the right thing. And if I do the right thing, I do not ask permission, because if somebody is objecting, let him object. Okay. Let me see which government officer tells me that your effort for making education available free to underprivileged kids, you cannot use NCRT. Okay. I want to see one government Babu doing it, I will make sure that a department is shamed before I give it up. Okay. I, I have been a fighter throughout my life. And that I can guarantee. I will leave IIT and do it because I sitting here I cannot attack government. I am perfectly capable of attacking government. Okay. If he interferes in this, okay. I have not done anything wrong. They had no business to make it available for free download in the first place. I have not taken their books and xeroxed it. Okay. Yeah. Physics chemistry has already been loaded, okay. translated into HTML. Manual conversion is a very, 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 very bad process. I do not know how to do it otherwise, but anyway, it is done. Okay. Now, the, the problem for which I have no solution, okay, because I cannot handle primary maths, yeah, because I am not an educator. Okay. I do not remember how I taught my kids. But they learn pretty fast, so there is nothing much to remember. Counting and all I do not remember. I only remember when I say they surprise you, okay, they did surprise me, one of them really did surprise me. I was sitting in front of the building and I asked him how many apartments are there in the building. And he quite fast he told me 20, correct, 4 into 5, 20, you know, 4 on every floor. But he did that, so I was happy. Okay. This is how you train children, you just ask them questions, they will solve it. I did not expect him, I, I asked him the question because I thought he will find it very difficult, so I will explain it to him, okay. how addition and multiplication is the same. Okay. Next steps are convert biology in basic English, which I do not think we will do for at least uh, a year at the minimum, because I do not have bandwidth. What is the risk? Insert will object to use of content. I want to see. And I have published it that these are insert books. Okay, this is what we are doing. We are done for physics and chemistry already. Okay. Multiple choice questions converted to radio buttons. Okay. All exercises to inform students about correct answers, JavaScript. Okay. So, HTML, JavaScript, uh, it has been enhanced. Most activities converted to Java experiments. Actually, that is not true. We are still in the process. As physics, we have done some 97 of those. You, you people's applet, not mine. I have done only a couple. Okay. Replace act, images with active. This is what we need to do. Okay. And their end of lesson quiz to interactive mode. Okay. So that sitting on the thing. This is just pure first step of interactive content. A little bit of programming skills are required and continuous activity with available bandwidth because all we are doing is taking that. It is a real painful exercise, I am telling you. The maths is a real pain okay, to convert from PDF to this, especially if the people do not know what to, do, what to do. And maths is full of stories. You should read the, see the CBSE books. Huh? This is what we have done. Okay. One of the projects is going to be working on this, is not it? Yes. Oh, sorry. Eka Shiksha enhancement, one portion is this. Okay. 